Hey everybody! Hello! So we're both off on a Friday and that's super rare that both of us are off on a bonus day because it's not even the weekend yet, it's just a bonus day. So we decided to go on some adventures. We're going to do our favorite thing in the world, which is brunch. Yay, brunch! Because it's like the only acceptable meal where you can drink alcohol in the morning, <laughs> which I'm all about. <laughs> Um, and so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go to um, the Raptor Center, which we have memberships for. We um, we donate ten dollars a month to help support the birds, and so um, the Raptor Center it has like owls and um, hawks and eagles and all sorts of other birds. It's kind of like a it's just like a bird zoo basically, but they rehabilitate the birds as well. So we're gonna go there and. Um, see some of the birds. They have this really cool Harry Potter, like Hogwarts yes. children's <laughs> so cool. exhibit, which is it really is. It really is. And um, even though it's for children, we both enjoy it. <laughs> and then um, we're gonna do that, and then just run some errands. And then tonight, um, our one of our best friends, Greg's, he's having his golden birthday. Golden birthday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so has anyone ever heard of the term golden birthday? We're trying to figure out if this is like an actual thing or if his wife, who's one of my best friends, her name's Carla, if she just made this up because no <laughs> one's ever heard of this before and we had never heard of it. So apparently your golden birthday is the day where you were born on the number and you're turning that number. Yeah. So his birthday was the 28th and he's turning 28. So it's, and so it's golden, golden birthday. birthday. Which I didn't realize, because I was born on the 23rd, I didn't realize that I had a golden birthday at 23. I totally missed that boat. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't, know, so, didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing. So so anyway, so Greg's having a golden birthday, and we're going, to, Carla has gone all out to decorate it like Star Wars, because it's his favorite movie. And so um, we're going to have it at our house. What's going to happen is Greg is going to be surprised. He's we told them we're gonna have dinner at our house. And Greg and Clara are also like our neighbors. They live right down the street. So we're just having dinner at our house tonight and then we're gonna surprise him, which we may or may not be filming a lot because it is gonna be like with a lot of people, but I'll show like some of the awesome decorations that Carla's done. Yeah. So yeah, so it's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna do brunch and then birds and then explore. Brunch and birds. Brunch and birds. And <laughs> we're gonna explore and go have a fun day, so we'll take you along. So our drinks came in. Haley got the sunset or sunrise mimosa. Sunrise. Sunrise mimosa. Which is a mimosa with cranberry juice and vodka. <laughs> and I got just a regular mimosa because that's good enough for me. <laughs> it's never good enough. <laughs> so someone has put a mustache over live music. So Haley got me this prefect jacket from Box Lunch, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it has the Hogwarts crest on the back, but I'll show you later. Um, and we were just thinking, I wish that it had a wand pocket in it <laughs> so that we could have wands. And there's like kind of a space here you could do a wand, but it's not very long. I don't know. I just feel like all our clothing needs to have wand pockets <laughs> in it so that we can bring our wands with us wherever we go. Oh. Okay, so our oh my food God. came. So Haley got the crab cake, delicious. So I got the pesto <laughs> benedict. You told me earlier that's what it was. Caprese. Caprese. Caprese benedict. Well, it's got pesto on it. It's caprese. It's got cheese. Mm, so we good. never, we never eat. So <laughs> we love like brunch that. so much. <laughs> Are you taking your first bite? Destroyed brunch. All the food is gone. It was so good. Mm. So we just made it into the Raptor Center. Yay. Yay. It's the Carolina Raptor Center. So we're about to park and we're about to go on some fun adventures. 
right, so here we are. And so we are members of the Raptor Center. We just think that it's good to <laughs> donate and help them out, help take care of all the birds they have here. So there's crow and some ravens. Can't really see, can you? There we are. Send a raven. So all the space they have here is really cool. Um, all of the animals here are either being rehabilitated or aren't able to go back out into the wild. So here's an American crestal. And so the permanent residents are animals that have uh, usually been hurt probably by cars or other things. And so they aren't able to actually go back out into the wild. And so they hang out here. <laughs> that one wants to be warm. <laughs> It's like, from Mexico. It's like, I'm not about this cold. A crested car cara cara. Cara cara. Cara cara. Aww, bless it. It's just like, can y'all leave me alone? It's chilly. I'm cold. Hello. How are you? Hi. 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 Hi.
vulture area. I see some vultures. These are turkey vultures. They're hanging out. I have something to say. Okay, go ahead and say it. You know, vultures are like one of the only species of animals that actually clean up our environment. And they're basically, they were referred to as like the undertakers because they eat, only eat dead animals. But that's very important for our ecosystem because it cleans off all the bacteria and all of the dead junk that we don't want to deal with. Vultures do it for us and we need to protect our vultures because they're they're slowly getting into the endangered list, which is very scary, and they're very important for our environment. So that's my little spiel about vultures. <laughs> Respect them. <laughs> so here we have some black vultures, and vultures' heads are naked so that they can get into carcasses without getting stuff all over their feathers. It's a lot cleaner. And their poop is basically, like, pure. Yeah. Like, they... They sanitize, they're like, they're one of the only creatures that can, uh, that can metabolize botulism and a bunch of other parasites and things that are really bad for the environment. So when they're like, their poop is just like pure goodness. Like, I mean, don't, <laughs> don't eat it, <laughs> but just saying. And this is the king vulture. He really is the king vulture. Look at the king showing off. Like, for real though. He knows he's the king. They have the coolest heads. With that floppy thing on their beaks. We need to like super add like a little, like one of those little emoji crowns on him. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> his impression of a vulture. Haley loves great horned owls. Apparently I said great horned howls. Yeah, she mixed it up a little bit, but it's okay. There they are. And so we're walking in, around in here and there was a family we just passed that her, the mom saw my, my Gryffindor or my, uh, my Hogwarts jacket. And she was like, oh my gosh. And she was like pointing out to her little kid who apparently had just discovered Harry Potter. And uh, she was like, oh, like, like the crest is on the back of the jacket. I don't know if you can see, I'm so good at this. Um, and the mom was like quizzing the kid on what the Hogwarts houses are and like, what's that one? What's that one? And the kid didn't know and he called a Hufflepuff a mongoose. So obviously- We said it was close. Obviously he's close. obviously he's just a first year, so it's okay. He hasn't got his letter yet. Really, what's some barn owl trivia? Well, it's right here. Barn owls don't hoot. What sounds do they make? So back in the day, so barn owls like to get in little like tight little little areas. Oh, I heard one stir. I got excited. They're like hiding because they had babies. Yeah, we heard that they have babies and they have eggs, so we think they're up in there protecting their eggs. So that's why they were called barn owls, because sometimes they would go in barns because they would hide up in there, and they'd make like really screechy screech sounds, and people used to think that these barns were haunted, and that's where a lot of like old haunted haunted buildings came from. It's mostly, a lot of the times was because a barn owl would nest in there, and they'd make like the screeching sound. So that's what the answer says. And she knew that before she flipped it. Thank you for acknowledging that. <laughs> Thank you. What an ornithologist. <laughs> Intriguing. Oh my God. Okay, for all you Ilvermorny people, <laughs> we just saw that this is the Thunderbird. So, <laughs> oh my God. we've found the fantastic bird and where to find them. Frank, the, Frank Thunderbird. the Thunderbird. His name There's isn't Frank King though. His Arthur. name's King Arthur. Oh my God. Where'd you get Frank from? Oh, is that from, from the Fantastic movie? Beast? <laughs> <laughs> He's called Frank, I've isn't he? I've seen that movie before. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, I think so. I like King Arthur better. So cool. And so here, there is a bald eagle through this netting. Should I get there? It is. So something we realized that actually makes us really sad is there. this is like the kind of the Harry Potter owl area. And right in this spot, they used to have this like cool tower thing. It was like a playground and it was this like top of a turret. 
and it was really high up and there was like a spiral staircase that took you up to the upper levels um and yeah give you owl facts about the harry potter owls the facts are still here so we're sad i mean it was made for kids but you know so was harry potter <laughs> <laughs> um oh there's oh, a, frog. a frog that's a toad not a frog sorry it's trevor trevor um so yeah oh so we're kind of bummed because there used to be this like cool play thing here for it was pretty cool. Harry Potter and now it's gone oh, oh well. okay so we've seen pretty much everything in the Raptor Center right I think so so this place is really awesome it's highly educational yeah uh, great for like school groups and young kids they've got a lot of like kid interactive areas and for adults and for grown-ups <laughs> who like bird <laughs> so Carla came while we were gone and decorated for Greg's birthday, and it's seriously insane. And um, everything she bought, like, <laughs> we don't know where any of this, she got any of this stuff. The only thing that's ours is, of course, the BB-8 and the Porg and some of the lightsabers over here. But she put all these balloons up, put streamers on the banister, got this enormous <laughs> Chewbacca that's like, like eight feet tall, and like in the dining room, put these little <laughs> blow up lightsabers and then this fun like tablecloth and then got so funny. It seriously looks like a like a um big kid's birthday party. Greg is a big kid, so it's fun. <laughs> but then to make it a big kid's birthday party, there's like a bucket of beer and lots of food and we're gonna do like a taco bar. And Carla just like got everything and then there's banners. So we're just like, <laughs> we came home to this. We were like, oh my God, she's crazy. So we're so excited. It looks awesome. We can't wait to surprise him and um, have a fun birthday party. Hey, so it's definitely a totally different day, but I realized when I was editing the video that we never said goodbye. Um, so bye. The party oh, was a lot of fun um, and our owl and bird adventure was a lot of fun um the party was a lot of fun and we ended up going to brunch the next day too because we love it so much so yeah i hope you are all having a fantastic week and um subscribe and send a comment and like our video thank you bye